Kyle Morris. Can we teach you our square roots? So, first question is, what do you want to know about square roots? You know, that's what, that's what many people tell me. The first thing I would like to tell you is, square roots, square roots. Root. multiply, add, I don't know if you can divide them or subtract them. Just, there's a lot of radicals, radicands, and numbers, and stuff like that. Just look at your book, and you'll be fine. So, Kyle Morris. <laughs> like Kyle said, square roots can be added. All the answers that you find have the same outside numbers. Square roots. Oh, hey. What else is there to know about square roots? Well, you can find, find the domain that ranges from that and graph them with a smooth curve. This slide should perform be better. But all you need to know about square roots is that there are radicals. Also, that they can be used in many different formats. Correct! Multiply square roots. Break the two numbers down and go from there. Or just multiply what is inside the radical, like, like 5, like, radical of 5, multiply the radical of 7, which equals the radical of 35. Radical of. Oh, hello. I didn't see you guys there. Ah, uh, oh yes. To subtract radical expressions when the base is the same, just multiply the difference of the outside numbers. For example, negative 3 radical 7 plus 4 radical 7 equals radical 7. For example, negative 11 radical 21 minus 11 radical 21 equals negative 22 radical 21. Uh, when it comes to simplifying square roots, this is how it goes. Say you have the number 4. You look at which numbers do themselves twice to equal that number, which is 2, because 2 times 2 equals 4. Or, let's try square root of 16. It's uh, 4 times 4, because you times that number twice to get it. Mm -hmm. Now, say you have an awkward number, like 12. There is no square root. So when you write it down, you just leave it. It's a very simple thing.